Hey, Machnaim from MemberStack here and welcome to MemberScript 152. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add OTP verification via WhatsApp to your Webflow forms. Once on the sign up page, once a user enters their information over here, you'll be able to see that there is a phone input field. So once a user um, clicks on it, they'll be able to scan this QR code like this and they'll get a WhatsApp message with a verification code. Once they submit the code on WhatsApp, their number will be verified and added to the phone input field. Then the submit button becomes active. So now I can proceed with signing up. If the phone number isn't verified, the form won't submit and the user will see a very helpful error message. So if I just submit my form and yeah, that's it the form has been submitted. So first things first, you're going to need to create an account over here with what's auth, what's auth, WhatsApp authentication. And then once you've created an account, you can then create an app and click on try me. And above here with the URL, you'll be able to see your API key. You can then just save that API key for now because you're going to use it later in web in Webflow. All right, let's just jump back into Webflow. The first thing is to add the script for WhatsApp authentication in the head code of your page. So over here, you can just copy and paste the script over to your uh, site. And then you're going to add member script 152 and it should look like this. If you're watching this on YouTube, the link to that code should be in the description below, so you can easily grab it from there. And if you're watching this on the member stick side, then you should have already seen the code. Next, go back to your Webflow form and add the text input where you want users to enter their phone number. You can set a custom attribute on this input field for data MS code phone number. And if you want to tweak the look and feel of the WhatsApp verification component, you can add a few more custom attributes to that same um, input field. So I have data MS placeholder, which will then control the text. So click here to validate your phone number. And then also have data MS primary color, which changes the main color of the widget. And then data MS secondary color, which is the secondary UI elements. And then data MS button text, which customizes the button text to that sends the OTP. All right. So here's what your script is doing under the hood. It's just scroll down all the way over here. It essentially looks for your phone input field. And then it also disables uh, member stack's normal form submissions temporarily. It will then load the WhatsApp auth widget to verify the phone number. And once verified, it then re-enables the form. Okay. If a user tries to submit the form without verifying their phone number, they will see an error message and the form will not go through. This way, it keeps um, fake and unverified phone numbers out and gives your users a seamless experience using WhatsApp, which they're already familiar with. And that's it for member script 152. Don't forget to check the description for the link to the code. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the Slack 2.0 channel. Bye.